Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Final Fantasy XII, let's continue on. And this video is going to be mostly story, which is surprising mostly to me. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it uh, this time more than I was expecting. And uh, not as hard to follow as I think the, uh, the reputation is. Uh, we did skip ahead a little bit here since the uh, last video. Uh, Bosch and Vaughn made up. Vaughn came to his senses, said that uh, Bosch is not actually responsible for his brother's death, that kind of thing. And Pinello is kidnapped, and Vaughn wants to go get her. So now they have something to do. <laughs> they have a purpose for being in this story. But yeah, it's just a little uh, sign thing while the adults do their thing. And here is Vaughn offering to give up his uh, precious thing that he stole from the, uh, the palace. <laughs> he just does not think things through. All right, but Balthier and Fran are sky pirates, which Vaughn wants to become. What a piece of junk! Just kidding. <laughs> That's a Star Wars reference. Now this is pod racing. That's another Star Wars reference. <laughs> So is she armed? How fast is she? Could you take the free? I suppose I could tell you, but... Wouldn't you rather see for yourself? Yeah. I suppose, depending on your point of view, Brand? any of these characters could be the main character. Bosch is kind of the, uh, the classic hero. Very upstanding, very honorable. Balthier is more kind of a modern hero. Kind of a gray moral area, but still very charming. And then there's Ash, who has the uh, coming of age arc. Or if you just want a young, naive point of view. With no character development, you can go for Vaughn. <laughs> Fran and Pinello, unfortunately, they don't get uh, main character status, though, in any sense. Uh, but we're going to a new town, Bajarba. Bosch has something he wants to do there, but we also have to go rescue Pinello. And this city here, as we see it in the clouds, this feels like Final Fantasy to me. This is like something we might see in Final Fantasy 3 around that era. I also like the relationship between Bosch and Balthier. You're a dead man. Don't forget it. And no names. Of course. And then this uh, Bajaraba music. I often use this as a uh, background for my videos. Just up ahead. Though I do hear there's not much left there these days. You're on your way to the mines. Then please allow me to accompany you. I have an errand to attend. And here's one of my favorite characters in the game, Larsa. What errand? 
I might ask the same of you. I like kind of like boy king characters. That sort of manifests in um, Leon in Near Reincarnation as well. And I think my interest began with Larsa here. I just thought he was so cool. Very young, but also very mature. Vaughn is anything but. <laughs> Ugh. All right, but Larsa gives a uh, pseudonym here, Lamont, to protect his identity. But I wonder if at this point Balthier knows, or Bosch knows. Balthier might have a better idea. The Lusu Mines, one of the richest veins in Ibelis. Under Imperial Guard, no doubt. Actually, no. With but few exceptions, the Imperial Army is not permitted within Bougerba. Well, shall we proceed? Although Balthier, he kind of acts in a uh, sort of a Gandalf sort of a role. Sort of the, uh, the wise mentor that kind of explains everything. <laughs> All right, here we have another judge. You will forgive me for asking, but you are diverting the purest of the Magicite. I can assure you it reaches Lord Vane most discreetly. Ha! You wear your saddle well. Be that as it may, I have no intention of being bridled, Your Honor. Then you prefer the whip? Stubbornness will see not only you broken, Excellency, but Bujerba as well. And this is the uh, the mayor, I guess, of uh, Bujerba. Talim Ondor the Fourth, the Marquis of Bujerba. The Marquis served as mediator at the negotiations of Damascus' surrender. It would appear that he is somewhat less neutral now. They say he's been helping the resistance. They say many things. You're certainly well informed. Who did you say you were again? What difference does it make? We have to find Penelo. And Penelo is your... She's a friend. She was kidnapped and taken. Ugh, so one-dimensional. Doesn't even care about these other characters, like doing doublespeak, reading between the lines. Alrighty, but uh, these mines and then like the uh, the bosses in here, just kind of slept walk through them because I'm so over leveled. This is what I came here to see. What's that? It's nephesite, manufactured nephesite. Nephesite? Unlike regular magicite, nephesite absorbs magical energy. This is the fruit of research into the manufacture of Nethesite. All of the hands of the Draclaw Laboratory. Oh, Balthier knows something else again. So this is where they're getting the Magicite. Errand all attended to, then. Thank you. I'll repay you shortly. No, you'll repay us now. We have too much on our hands to go on holding yours. So, where did you hear this fairy tale about Nethesite? And where did you get that sample you carry? What do you know about the Draclaw Laboratories? Tell me, who are you? Balthier. You kept us waiting, Balthier! You slipped <laughs> away in Maldonar! We missed you! First to judge and know this boy! These are the uh, kidnappers of Pinello that uh, tried to bring Balthier here. And then uh, this musical track here in the background, also one of my favorites from the game. Just drums and like a drone. <laughs> Pretty tough. <laughs> All 
All right, we beat them and we escaped the mines. I see you've been out walking without the company of your cortege, Lord Lassa. We caught her wandering out of the mines. You must take care with such undesirables about. I was kidnapped. Silence. If it is a crime to wander on one's own, then I too am guilty. Marquis, I trust that your estate can accommodate another guest. Why not? Judge Geese. So I much confidence from Larsa. I will not travel unaccompanied any longer. But this was a uh, fairly common thing in history. Thank you, Penelo. With uh, royalty, where there's like a new king. Too young to rule, and, what's the deal with that Lamont? and so like the uh, the stewards or the uh, people that take care of the king, kind of end up being the true rulers. But Larsa here, I feel like, is knowledgeable enough and savvy enough, educated enough to actually lead. Nobody knows men like Fran does. Our purposes lead the same way. I've said this a few times before, I think, but I'm also a big fan of uh, Joan of Arc. And she might actually have been the, uh, the first one that sort of led me down this path of loving boy king characters. Or in the uh, case of Joan of Arc, girl savior characters. <laughs> but uh, characters like wise beyond their years and good leaders. The little girl that's in uh, Game of Thrones, House Mormon, I think it was. Maybe it was something else, but... That was a little over the top and silly. A caricature. <laughs> I'm Captain Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmas. Yeah, and here's one of the most annoying mini games in any Final Fantasy. Well, what do you think? I think you're annoying. <laughs> Alright, Vaughn. Get to it. For the girl's sake, eh? Oh, and the more people around to witness your little performance, the better. If we're going to reach the Marquis, it's up to you. We'll be waiting here if you need us. So the uh, the mayor, the Marquis, formally announced that uh, Bosch was dead. But uh, they are going to spread rumors that Bosch is actually alive. So that certain strings can be pulled. This is the one, Amaro. Says he's Captain Bosch. He does. <laughs> he would sooner pass for the king. I knew he were no captain. That was a mean trick to be playing. <laughs> if Not the uh, sharpest well knife. Enough. But why this boy? And why Captain Ronsenberg? An explanation is due, and I will hear it. The Empire's hounds grow passing bold indeed. A shame if they learnt the Marquis trafficked with the likes of you. Agents masquerading as guides, a hideout at the back of a tavern? Not exactly earning high marks for originality, are we? Now you've done Wait. it! So Bash von Ronsenberg does yet live. Alright, here we get a cutscene with uh, Larsa and Pinello. I don't care about Penelo, but I do like Larsa, so we'll watch it. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever get to see him again. You will join him soon. And until then, I shall see that you are kept from harm. Thank you. I am troubled. The Rabanaster Imperial Guard appear to have overstepped their bounds. I intend to speak on this with the Consul. What? Vain Solidor, the Consul, is my brother. <gasps> the first duty of the Consul is to maintain order in Dalmatica. My brother... my brother is not one given to failure. Perhaps things aren't going as well as they might be, but give him a little time and he will put things to rights. Ah, uh, very trusting, Larsa, in his my brother. brother is a remarkable man. In all other aspects, though, he That's seems easy. to be pretty savvy. Why? Although perhaps naive, as we will see here. Brother, it's just you don't understand how much we lost to the war. My friends, 
My parents. So you fear the Empire? <laughs> Zwei? Listen to me. The men of my family, we are taught to place the needs of others before those of our own. I will see that you are kept from harm. It is my duty to House Solidor. But how? How can I trust you? Because I give you my word. My brother would do no less. I knew there must be more to it, but to find you at the end of this tale? <laughs> ah, to see the Marquis's face when he learns of it. I should like nothing more. I would meet him and see for myself. How say you, my lord? There is little to be said. All right, we'll end the video here. They're going to meet the uh, the Marcus. We shall expect you at the estate and meet with another important character. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.